I have recently learned about this technique and I wanted to make a tutorial right away. This is the portrait we're gonna work on today and these are the colors that I picked with eye dropping tool on PowerPoint. These are my colored pencils, but besides Caran d'Ache Luminance, I also use Prismacolor Premier. The things you need is a small plate or a container just like this, and also you need sandpaper. Now, let me show you what we are going to do. This is also my first time, so I'm trying it here. Bear with me. Basically, just like pen pastels, I'm turning these colored pencils into colored pencil dust so that I can apply them on a larger area all at once. I tried with my brush first and unfortunately this was a disaster, it did not work. <laughs> so I wrapped the tissue around my finger and I tried to blend with this tissue and that worked. But as you noticed, the color was much much lighter than I thought. So if you are looking for a darker shade, definitely you need to add more dark brown or even dark blue in it. By the way, the paper I'm working on right now is medium tooth, but my portrait is going to be on a smooth paper. So I hope that this technique will work on that smooth paper as well. Now let's work on the colors. This guy has some really cool colors. For that, I added some pink and then some peach and a little bit of yellow but I'm going to add also some blue later and I'm mixing them with my finger right here and I'm erasing my initial draft so that the graphite wouldn't smudge and I add this powder everywhere that I can and I gently try to blend them as I guessed before, you know, it wasn't as successful as it was on a medium tooth paper, but it kind of worked because the color was very light anyways, and this is the result I wanted. And towards the end, if you do that with your blending stump, you can even get more pigment in. And whatever the leftover is, I'm just putting them back into the container. And for the darkest areas, the darkest shades, I wanted to have some dark brown as well. I gave one more shot to the brush, but <laughs> it did not work, guys. It's just not working. I continued on with the tissue method and I blended them all. And now I'm ready to go back and put in detail. So probably some of you are wondering, Eja, why all the trouble? Why do you go into like this many steps of like making the powder and stuff like that because if you are a colored pencil artist you know that it lasts forever sometimes especially the first layer you have to do layer after layer you have to be very patient you have to keep sharpening your pencil it's just a lot of work it takes a lot of time now i shortened that time at least by an hour i'm just telling you that. i'm not exaggerating see i added all the colors that i wanted to add like all the glazes like all the blues and purples and such and in the last layer i did burnishing by basically applying pressure with pinkish white color and it was done this was really quick let me show you one more time in the forehead area so we have all these lines in the forehead i did that with my burnt sienna and then i added the other colors that I can see on the forehead area such as pinkish purple I have yellow ochre here I had burnt sienna I had some other ochre colors here and afterwards I started burnishing again with my pinkish white color and then you can see that it worked it looks good for me I mean it's good enough if I did not add that powder layer first probably I would have spent creating that base layer all over the face and it would take me 45 minutes to one hour with the second eye you can see that I'm adding so many details so many colors there I just wanted to give one more tip here if you want to erase if you want to add highlights in colored pencil portraits electric eraser gives the best result so here too you can see me adding this purplish pink color there and then very bright pink right here and then i have blue because as i said it's a very cool skin color and then i have burnt sienna and sepia here for the shadows and some yellow ochre 10 percent right here and after i finish all these different colors again i go back in with my pinkish white color and i 
do burnishing and that's it I don't have to do extra things I'm just adding different colors and I burnish I don't have to do the base layer and I really enjoyed this I don't know if this would work with darker shades of skin you should try and tell me in the comments what do you think have you ever tried this method before and what was the result? Please share your experience with us. Next week, we will continue this portrait. Every week, I share a different tutorial for art lovers. Please subscribe for more videos. Oh, and colored pencil fans, these videos are for you. Bye.